I need people to like me. I need people to like me. That is a trek for disaster because now you're focused on not what your goal is, but I need to make somebody like me. Those are two different animals. If my goal is to do a deal with you, then I'm going to focus on what do I need to get this deal done? If my goal is to get you to like me, which is much more complex and much more confusing, and also it's going to mess me up in trying to figure that out. I say this, don't focus on making people like you because you can do everything right and people may still just not like you. Instead, focus on how about I'm going to be competent in what I do. When I say I'm going to do something, I follow through. When I say I can do something, I actually can do it. When I say I'm going to be there at 9, I'm there at 8.55. In the U.S. Secret Service, we had a saying, if you're on time, you're late. So I show you that I'm competent. When you see that, are you going to like me for that? Yes, you are. I'll respect you. Now, there's warmth. Warmth is the other element here. Warmth is, I show you respect. So instead of me trying to get you to like me, how about I just show you respect? What does that look like in reality, showing someone respect? Is that, again, the timekeeping? I'm listening to you. I show up on time. I follow through with what I say I'm going to do. I'm also open and approachable. I'm also non-judgmental. That's a big thing. Everybody is kind of like throwing their weight around. Let me tell you what I think. Let me tell you what I think. Nobody needs to know what you think. It doesn't matter. If you're really trying to build a connection with a person, then build it and let them tell you what they think. Because now I see the world through your lens, not mine. I always say when, especially I do a lot of keynotes and training for businesses, you don't matter. They matter. What do they want? What do they need? What's important to them? Let them tell you. And then when they tell you, instead of trying to guess how to enter a conversation, because you're coming into the blind, but what do I do? I shut up. I listen. I let you reveal to me what matters to you, what your values are. And then I come in more intelligently into the conversation and I speak to you. You have to know your audience, but you don't know your audience if you're doing all the talking. Everybody's motivated by something different. If you take my motivational factor growing up, I was never motivated by money. My Russian was. Greed. That's fair. But I wasn't. Whenever I got a job, I never looked at the pay. NYPD, I had no idea what my salary was. Um, When I went to the U.S. Secret Service, I never once asked them, what's the pay? Because I wasn't motivated by that. I was motivated by the mission, by the purpose. But people will show you that. So the recruiter that talked to me probably realized this woman never once asked me what her salary is going to be. She's not motivated by that. Those are little things that people show you. People will show you what they care about if we just hold back, stay silent, ask good questions. And you know what? We're genuinely curious. I genuinely want to get to know you. I genuinely want to understand you. I don't genuinely want to tell you all about me. That's different. And the one factor that's really important is not having judgment, being non-judgmental. When you show judgment to another person, they're going to filter what they say. They're going to shut down. They're going to hold back because nobody likes to be judged. I would interview in the polygraph room people who committed really horrible crimes, crimes against children. A lot of people would say to me, how can you sit there and listen to it and not, you know, tell them what you think? Why? Nous avons trouvé une application avec laquelle vous pouvez activer la radiographie.